For some near the Beachy Creek fire, it was time to get out fast. Uh, others are watching and waiting. Fox 12's Kendra Kent spoke with a few of them. And, and Kendra, this could really be a devastating situation. We just don't know how much damage there is up in that canyon area. Yeah, that's right. And certainly um, as we learn more about um, what may have transpired there in terms of loss, I think that it definitely, um, you know, it's going to be tough for everyone and of course for those communities. And I did also want to talk a little bit about Silverton uh, today. We were actually there earlier. They're on a level two evacuation notice in in that city and so people uh, kind of had that sense of urgency as they were trying to pack up and make sure they had everything in order uh, the sky was an eerie orange color and there was uh, bits of ash swirling around neighbors were out on their lawns and roofs in the smoke smoky and hazy conditions and streams of cars trailers and campers were coming down away from the silver fall state park area the park and some surrounding areas were evacuated. With so many people heading out of Silverton, police were directing traffic through downtown. We spoke to a couple of people in Silverton preparing to leave if needed. It's a little freaky. I mean, seriously, uh, just hoping it doesn't get down here. Yeah, uh, my parents live in Scotts Mills, and I guess my dad, they evacuated, and then he went back and... Uh, there was fires on their street, so. Yeah, we've seen embers. I mean, it literally, it was a big one landed. My wife's car told to park in the breezeway. So, yeah, I don't know, I, you know, see a lot of people driving by with horse trailers and horses, and people are panicking. They're not sure what level it is. We also spoke to a man who lives just a few miles from Silver Falls State Park. He and his partner are staying down in Silverton for now and are hoping that their house doesn't burn. Smoke was just, like, burling in, like, it's 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 crazy it's like there's canyons all around my home so it's just like it's it's on fire it sucks now there are precious historical sites and beloved tourist attractions as well in silverton frank lloyd wright's gordon house is one of them we did reach out to staff there about if they were going to be needing to take any special precautions to protect the property in that house we did not hear back from them however the oregon garden which includes the Gordon House within it, is being closely monitored by staff there. And officials say that area is particularly moist and wet right now due to their irrigating schedule. Reporting live tonight, Kendra Kent, Fox 12 Oregon.